Hey guys, in this video I'll be touching on 5 manuals that I enjoy reading where the premises are very similar as in the main character he starts out very weak and gets a power boost or awakens this new power and is so badass. So I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you can get some recommendations from it. Starting the list is Ultra Alta. Ultra Alta is about Lee O'Rim. He's a high schooler who plays as a healer shuttle character in the kinesthetic VR MMORPG game called Eurosphere Online. On his healer shuttle character, he's not very strong and as a result of that, he's taken advantage of by his teammates and even in real life, he's beaten up on by the same teammates. Now, unbeknownst to them, he has an Alta character that he plays on called an Avenger. Now on this Avenger character, he's very strong and he's able to defeat bosses that he wouldn't have been able to do while on his healer class. One day while off the game, an interface opens up and transforms him, giving him the features of his Avenger class character. Now he's put in various dangers that he must overcome. He's now meeting new individuals that he can form team with, different dangers like PK players that can kill you while in the game there's so much that he is now being brought up into and we follow him on his journey as he tries to figure it all out it's a really nice uh, manga the graphics is great i really do enjoy reading it and i recommend it give it a look next on the list is the player that can't level up kim ji Yu awakens as a player at the age of 18 He's thought to have his life on track for success as he has been identified as a unique player. However, after climbing the tower, he finds that he's unable to level past level 1. He takes a whole day just to kill a goblin that wouldn't take so much time for other players. And even after 5 years, he's still at level 1. But everything changed while on a quests with a few other quest mates he's forced to risk his life to protect them and in doing so he unlocks a hidden power follow the journey of kim ji Yu as he utilizes these powers in the form of egos it's a very fun manga the action is great the the art is amazing. It reminds me so much of solo leveling in terms of the epicness of the art and the character's progression. You know, if you are into, you know, a weak character becoming strong progressively, then this is for you. Next on the list is Mushi Fanren. Zo Taiyanshin is the last living human in a mutated zombie infested city. Just when he was sure he had died, he finds his soul returned to just before that ill-fated day 10 years ago. He swears that he'll protect the people important to him this time around and reunite with his past lover. Watch his struggles to survive equipped with his memory of the next 10 years. This is a very interesting uh, manga. It has a lot of action scenes, a lot of, you know, bloody fights. Um, it's interesting to see how the protagonist maneuvers through um, different obstacles that he face, and it's the art is cool. You know, it's it's not your usual type of art. It has this unique touch to it, so it might take a while for some people to get used to. But after like you know two or three chapters, I'll even go as far to say after the first chapter, you'll get used to it, and you would really enjoy the manga. So give it a try. So next on the list is Apotheosis. It's about Lu Zeng, once part of a wealthy family, he's now a humble slave as his family's wealth has declined and to add more um, misfortune to him, his sister was kidnapped by powerful forces. And now he's being taken advantage of and belittled by other wealthy families that are now looking down on him but as we will see the heavens never seal off the exit so to speak and faith has other plans for him now he comes upon an ancient book left by his father 
that reveals a secret of divine techniques, giving the reader immense power. And immense power it is. But we find that throughout his adventures, after encountering this book, he only gets more and more powerful. You know, leaping through dimensions. Um, it is crazy. Like, his power, at, at one point, I'm like, can he get even more? Can he get even more powerful? Yeah, he's one of those characters. He keeps getting stronger and stronger, regardless of the obstacles he faces. And I do recommend y'all reading it. It is a interesting read. You know, as I said before, you always will have content. And if, yeah, the art style, it's it is interesting. You know, it is very interesting. The art style is interesting. It has that that um that i don't know how to explain it but it's just really um it it takes a while to get into but once you're into it you appreciate it for what it is you know it has a subtleness to it that's what i want to say subtleness now finally on the list is solar leveling so about 10 years ago after the gates that connected the real world with the monster were opened up some ordinary everyday people received the power to hunt monsters within the gates they were known as hunters now, this particular story focuses on a hunter called Son Jin Wu, that's of an E rank, one of the lowest ranks that possible, right? So, he goes into um, dungeons, caves um, that are low level, and he tries to complete these dungeons and attain the various rewards from them that he can put towards his mother's um, medical bill. However, he is not very strong and as a result, he needs a healer and a team to accompany him in order to complete these dungeons. One day, he enters a low-level dungeon with a team that he had asked to accompany. They are in there clearing the cave and defeating the monsters. However, they notice that there is a door leading to a room that they have not entered in as yet. They enter the room and while in there, they notice a lot of statues. The door closes with them and it begins... To get crazy these statues start attacking each of the teammates and killing them off one by one it reached a point where it was just Sun Jin Wu the healer and the team lead Sun Jin Wu decided to sacrifice himself in order to let the healer escape with the team lead however while Sun Jin Wu is there trying to you know fight them which we know he, he can't really do anything because he's weak. But he can at least be a sacrifice to get his teammates safe. So the door locks and he's in there and they begin, the statues begin hitting him all around and, you know, knocking him back and forth. And you can see bloods coming out of his mouth. So he's getting brutally beaten up. But something happens when, when the statue decides to make his final blow. It pauses and it basically asks him if he wants to essentially survive this and Sun Jin Wu takes the offer he wakes up the next day with an interface like previous uh, manga that I mentioned but this one actually tells him what level he is and how he can you know improve and get stronger and he begins to follow these instructions you know and he begins to look at his stats and see how you know doing certain things make him stronger you know from simple things like you know it's working out to <laughs> even more complex things like completing dungeons and we follow Sun Jin Wu from being the weakest to being the most the most badass strongest character in goddamn manga however I, I, he's just the best trust me um it's really it's really a nice read and the animation the let me just say the art style. The art style is one of the best. You 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 don't just watch. You don't just read Sun Jin Wu for um, for just the storyline, but also the art style. Like you don't know what they will bring. And not that, not to say the storyline ain't great. The storyline is lovely, you know. But at the same time, you know, it's it's both uh, it's on both ends in terms of the um, the storyline and the um, the art style. So uh, I'm just gonna stop. 
you know ranting about solo leveling it's a very popular one if you have not read it already you should take it up um and yeah it, it's one of those um, manwas that you know once you start reading you'll be grateful that you got the chance to that's my opinion give it a try and uh, well all these mangas that i've mentioned give it a tr- give them a try and thank you for tuning into my channel um i'm going to try and put out more content like this based on the reviews i get from this one so i don't know if you got you guys like when i you know share mangas or manwas or manhoes if i pronounce that properly that i've read about japanese korean and you know chinese mangas um thank you and enjoy the rest of your day